Hello everyone, I've got another washing machine to look at today. It's the Tomy Minimatic. Long time viewers might remember I featured the Tomy Minimatic vacuum cleaner and this is the washing machine that goes with it. But let's have a look at it. It's a mini working washing machine. You can put water in it. It's got an agitator. Uh, I've also bought some clothes to go with it. I don't think it's going to take all these clothes. Um, but we've got a lovely little t-shirt here. It says shark with two H's. Sound layel. Um, that could be sound level perhaps. And surf out. Yes, I bought this from Amazon. It's one of those cheap Chinese made set of dolly clothes suitable for Action Man or Ken. Roxy. This one says boy on it in case you didn't know. And then a couple of pairs of trousers, lovely trousers there, and some very garish shorts. So we'll we'll wash some of these in the washing machine. That's not it's not going to take the full wash load. I'm not sure the capacity of this, but I think I could get away with a couple of t-shirts in one load. Let's have a look then. I've had a sneak peek and checked it works. But first thing out of the box, we have the instruction leaflet with everything you need to know to get lovely clean laundry using the Tomy Minimatic washing machine. Out it comes. I don't know what scale this would be, but if you have a, I think it's a 12 inch fashion doll like a Barbie, or if you're old enough to have a Cindy, I think it will be suitable. It's that sort of size. I don't have a Barbie doll to show you the scale, but I would say it's a lot bigger than Doll's House scale. As you can see, it's uh, much bigger. It wouldn't fit in a, a Lundby or a Playmobil house, that's for sure, because the per it would be a lot taller than the figures that go in those houses. But yeah, four 12 inch fashion dolls such as Barbie, I think this would be fine and it will keep Barbie's clothes spick and span. So we have a hose here on the side. This is your drain hose. So it's uh, no pump in this one. It's just gravity drain. But you do also have a little stopper that you can push there just in case the hose should fall down. It shouldn't flood everywhere, but it fits on the side here. So when you're filling up this Minimatic, you need to make sure the hose is on the side. As you can see, we've got a pretend drum with clothes in it. And funnily enough, this is a top loading washing machine disguised as a front loader. We've also got controls here where it says Tomy. That's your soap dispenser drawer. And then some sort of slide control perhaps here. And then you've got three buttons for your options. And of course the selector dial to select the correct program. And there's even more controls on the top. I'm not sure what they do, but we have a Maybe that's a countdown to tell you how long the washing's got left. And then we have an on and off button. If I open the top of the washing machine, we can open it and it folds down like that to give us access to the wash tub. And also we have access to the included washing basket that I haven't even opened. There we go. Just looking for my box opener. There we are. So we have a basket here. So yes, you could. That would certainly be to scale with Barbie. But I don't know how many of these, these clothes would fit into the washing basket. I mean, if we fold them up in the Marie Kondo tradition, we might get them in. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a very, I thought there was a stiff bit. It's a, got a very stiff piece of Velcro, so it's hard to fold. So we'll just sort of, we can put in Maybe a couple. I hope these are colour fast. Um, yeah, it, it sort of fits in. A couple of those will fit in, like so. Might get a pair of trousers in that, but be a bit scrunched up. Looking at the tub, I think we'll fit at least one pair of trousers and a top in one wash load, or two tops, or two trousers. So um, we'll be seeing how it works in a minute. Put those to one side, and if I show you inside, we can see that there's a central agitator that rotates once we put batteries in. 
I think it's a, a one-way action for this. It'll just rotate at the same speed in one direction. No reverse action on this particular washing machine. Just like my uh, Panasonic bubble bucket. We do have a hole. Can you see the hole, folks? There we go. There's a hole. That's your drain hole there. So obviously, when you take the hose and lay it down, the water drains out of that little hole. So if we close the top, we can turn the washing machine over, look on the underside, and we've got the battery compartment. So this predates having to have a little screw. I don't know what the date is. I'll see. I'll have a look on the box, actually. So I think this just takes one, actually. Yes, one. Just takes one AA battery. I've got one alkaline AA battery to put in. Make sure you observe the correct polarity. So it's plus on this side here. So in that goes, and then we can close up the compartment. There we are. Lock the battery in place. And now, fingers crossed, when I press the on button, we should see some action going on inside the wash tub. I've got some water and some Sturgeon Gentle Care washing liquid. Now, obviously, you're not really supposed to put detergent in this, but I want to create some bubbles. So hopefully a little bit of Sturgeon, a tiny bit of Sturgeon inside this little washer will uh, create a little bit of bubbling action. Hopefully it's not going to leak. I've not tried it with water. If you don't want to read through the instructions, it does actually tell you on the box here how to use it. So I'll just read out the instructions. It says, fold back the lid and look inside. See the little agitator? It makes the clothes go round. Put the clothes in. Do you need some water? Fill it up then. Close the lid and switch on. Off it goes. Soon to be clean now. There, all done. Just drain the machine and then you can hang your clothes out to dry. Well, it doesn't say anything about rinsing your garments but then if you just use cold water they won't need rinsing so i'm just going to try and put a tiny tiny amount of sturgeon directly inside and then we'll let the agitator mix it up i'm going to put the water in before the clothes so ever so carefully i'm just going to put a little bit that should be enough okay before I put any water in, yes, just make sure that the hose is where it should be. And then we'll pour some water in. About two thirds full. We've already got a little bit of foam. So let's switch on and see what happens. Okie dokie, the detergent has mixed in with the water. So I'm just going to try initially with this Sound Layel Surf Out Shark T-shirt. Let's hope there are no sharks in here. Um, I think I'll undo the Velcro. Like so. Okay, now really you should turn them inside out in case they're not colour fast. It'll be interesting to see if this is. Uh, I'm going to turn on and then just put the t-shirt in and see what happens. I think we need to push it down a bit. Might need some more water in now, actually. There we go. Yep. Right. I'll just top it up with a little bit of water. Not too much. Well, that was no good, was it? Let's move it to one side. It's not going to get clean if it doesn't move around. I'm going to add one more item. These rather fetching shorts. So let's uh, push that right in. 
Okay, I think two is about the maximum we can use in this particular washing machine. I think the clothes are clean now, so I'm going to drain out the water. I've got myself a bowl here. So first I'll just unhook the hose and then release the cap. So what we have to do now, well oh, they're quite wet, we have to wring those out by hand. Not a lot of water in that. And then the other one, t-shirt. So, we've now got an empty wash tub. So before we fill it with rinse water, of course we've got to hook the drain hose back in its storage position and then fill it up with some more water. There we go. Let's see the swirling action again. And then pop the clothes back in. There's the shorts whizzing round and then the top. I think I'll turn it off and add the top. There we are. Hopefully it'll continue to swirl. No, needs a bit of help. Come on. Deary me. I know a lot of you will be saying in the comments, that's too much faffing about. I'd rather take all my Cindy and Barbie clothes to the laundrette. Yes, you could, but it means a trip on the bus, doesn't it? And having to find the right change for the machine. Why do that when you can wash all your dolly clothes at home in the comfort of your own living room or bed sit? Come on. Well, there you go. Dirt and stains don't stand a chance with that sort of wash action in the Tomy Minimatic washing machine. That's the first rinse done, but of course, if you have sensitive skin, you might want to rinse one or two more times. But I think for this load, that will do. Just have to empty out the water again into my bowl. If I can get the, there we are. Happily draining away. As it's draining, I can remove the garments, give them a bit of a squeeze, and they are lovely and clean and ready for the washing line. I'm sure you can get a Barbie rotary washing line and an iron and an ironing board. Well, you used to be able to back in the day. I'm not sure if it's, it would be allowed these days, but look at that. The colours are fast and the spelling is still incorrect, but we've got a lovely clean and mm, April fresh smelling top to go on my rather effeminate Ken doll. Right, that's all drained away. So obviously after using your Tomy Minimatic to keep it all nice, just dab off any spilt water, especially on the control panel that's just a, a sticker. And then it's probably best to dry out the wash tub, take it over to your sink actually and, and just shake it to remove any water. Dry it out, take the battery out and leave it open to thoroughly dry before popping it back inside the box. 
So there you go, folks. That's the Tomy Minimatic washing machine. I just don't know how children coped back in the day before the invention of these mini washing machines. It must have taken a day to wash all your dolly clothes. But now, thanks to Tomy in the 1980s, we have this wonderful central agitator washing machine with full rotary action, drain, and a deluxe on off button and of course completely cordless so you can take it everywhere even on holiday and don't forget included this lovely little basket that will also double up as a shopping basket as well as a laundry basket if you have any comments or questions about this marvelous piece of 80s technology please comment below and i'll see you all very soon for another video thanks for watching and bye for now